Chelsea, Barcelona, Real Madrid, Manchester City, and Manchester United are the top teams with heavy rumors surrounding the move for Borussia Dortmund's superstar striker, Erling Haaland. Haaland has been linked with a move to these top-tier clubs for months now. One may ask, what makes Erling Haaland such a hot piece of cake that entices these teams so? To understand the hunger for Erling Haaland among these teams, we take a deep dive into the boy, the man, and now, the wonder. Erling Braut Holland was born in Leeds, England on the 21st of July, 2000. He was born with football in his genes. Alf Ing Holland, his father, was also a professional footballer who was playing for Leeds in the Premier League at the time. Erling Holland moved to Brynn in Norway, the hometown of his parents in 2004 when he was three years old. At age five, Holland joined the academy club Brynn FX. Football, though, was not the only sport Little Holland participated in at a young age. Holland played golf, handball, took part in track and field, all while juggling football. When he was five, he achieved a world record for standing long jump in his age category, with a recorded distance of 1.63 meters in 2006. Holland played for Brynn's reserve team during the 2015 and 16 season, scoring 18 goals in just 14 matches. In May 2016, youth coach Bernstein replaced Bryn manager Gout Larson. Bernstein had previously worked with Holland on other youth teams and knew how much potential Holland had. Bernstein moved Holland from his winger position and deployed him in his central role as a striker. Though Holland failed to find the back of the net during his breakout season at Bryn, 1899 Hoffenheim, the German club, offered him a trial before he eventually landed at Mold FK. At Mold FK, Holland played under coach Ule Gunnar Solskjaer, who would later go on to coach Manchester United. Ule Gunnar Solskjaer said Holland's style of play was similar to that of Belgian striker Romelu Lukaku, his pace, strength, and finishing ability. Holland hit the ground running, making his debut for the club on the 26th of April, 2017, against Volda TI, where he scored in a 3-2 victory. At the Elite Saren, his debut was one of showmanship, where he was substituted on in the 71st minute and scored in the 77th minute to secure Mold FK's win over Sarpsborg 08. On the 17th of September, Holland slaughtered in another match-winning goal in a match against Viking FK in a 3-2 win. His first season at Mold ended with only four goals and 20 appearances, but Holland wasn't deterred in the slightest. Holland's second season at Mold FK came with a blur of goals. Four goals in the first 21 minutes against SK Braun. And just like that, Holland had secured his team's win against the unbeaten league leaders at the time. His scoring boots continued to shine, scoring a brace against Volaranga, a match which ended in a 5-1 victory. On the 26th of July, Holland scored his first goal in a UEFA competition. It was a penalty against KF Lassie, and the match ended in a 3-0 win. Mold FK's Europa League qualifying victory. Unfortunately for Holland, a sprained ankle prevented him from playing in the last three league matches of the season. Holland ended the season with 16 goals in 30 matches, finishing as Mold FK's top scorer. Holland won the Elite Saren Breakthrough of the Year Award for his outstanding performance in the 2018 Elite Saren. Austrian Bundesliga champions Red Bull Salzburg announced on the 19th of August 2018 that Erling Holland would join the club on the 1st of January 2019, signing a five-year contract. RB Salzburg reportedly bought Holland for a fee of 8 million euro. Before moving to RB Salzburg, though, there were rumors that Holland had received an offer from Leeds United, his father's former club. Holland made his debut for RB Salzburg in the 2018 and 19 Austrian Cup quarterfinals against Wiener Neustadt on the 17th of February. His first goal for the club, though, came on the 12th of May in the Austrian Bundesliga match against Lask, where RB Salzburg came out winners in a 2-1 win over Lask. 
It didn't take long for Erling Holland to find the net three times in a single match, scoring his first hat trick on the 19th of July in a 7-1 win in the Austrian Cup against SCESV Parndorf. His first hat trick in the league was on the 10th of August, finding the net three times against Wolfsburger AC, with RB Salzburg obtaining victory with a 5-2 scoreline. The sixth consecutive league game Holland scored in was crowned with another hat trick for Salzburg against TSV Hartberg on the 14th of September in a 7-2 win. During this period, Holland found the net 11 times. An impressive start for a youngster. RB Salzburg had gotten their hands on a goal machine. Holland continued to impress. Just three days after his third hat trick, Holland got a fourth hat trick in his UEFA Champions League debut, scoring three goals against Genk in the first half of the match. The match went on to end in a 6-2 win for RB Salzburg. Holland went on to score a goal against Liverpool at dreaded Anfield and two more goals against Napoli. This made Holland the second teenager ever after Real Madrid's Karim Benzema to score in each game of his first three appearances in the history of the Champions League. But the records aren't done. Holland's six goals were the most goals scored by any player in their first three Champions League matches. In a reverse fixture against Napoli, Holland became the first teenager to score in his first four matches in the Champions League after converting a penalty. He also became the fourth player in history to ever achieve this, following the steps of Zé Carlos, Diego Costa, and Alessandro Del Piero. Holland's fifth hat trick of the season came against Wolfsburger AC in a 3-0 victory on the 10th of November. His second hat trick against Wolfsburger AC, Holland joined the ranks of Robert Lewandowski, Del Piero, Sergi Rebrov, Neymar, and Cristiano Ronaldo on the 27th of November, coming off the bench to score a goal against Gink to make him the sixth player to score in the first five matches of a Champions League group stage, and also the first teenager to score in five consecutive matches in the Champions League. RB Salzburg's Champions League run came to an end against Liverpool in a 2-0 defeat, where Holland failed to find the back of the net. This game was Holland's last game for RB Salzburg. Borussia Dortmund had beaten Juventus and Manchester United for the signing of Erling Holland. Holland left RB Salzburg with a recorded 29 goals and only 22 appearances during the 2019 and 2020 season. On the 29th of December 2019, the German Bundesliga club Borussia Dortmund confirmed the signing of Holland for a reported fee of 20 million euros for a four and a half year contract. The actual fee though, which included payments to Holland's father and agent, they had won the race against contenders Juventus and Manchester United for the Young Stars signature. The news was confirmed just three days before the winter transfer window opened. Holland's Dortmund debut was a breathtaking one. It was an away match against FC Augsburg on the 18th of January 2020. Holland came on as a substitute in the second half and within 23 minutes netted in a hat trick to secure Dortmund a 5-3 win. Holland was barely a Dortmund player, but was quickly making records. His hat trick against FC Augsburg made him the second player in Dortmund history to put three goals in the net on a Bundesliga debut. The first player being Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Only six days later, coming off the bench again in his second club appearance, Holland scored in just 12 minutes and a second goal 10 minutes after the first. It was Dortmund against local rivals FC Köln. The match ended in a 5-1 victory for Dortmund. This made Holland the first Bundesliga player to score five goals in his first two matches and the fastest player to do that with just a total of 56 minutes play. Think that's all? No, Holland had to do more. Holland netted in a brace against Union Berlin to become the first player in Bundesliga history to score seven goals in their first three Bundesliga matches. It was no surprise when he won the January Bundesliga Player of the Month award. On the Champions League front, Holland scored twice for Dortmund against French side Paris Saint-Germain in their 2-1 first leg victory in the Champions League round of 16. Erling Holland now had a total of 10 Champions League goals for the 2019 and 20 campaign, 
and he had made just eight appearances in the competition. Unfortunately, on the 11th of March, Dortmund would lose 2-0 in the return leg, and Holland was eliminated a second time in the same season from the competition. Holland ended the 2019 and 20 season with a whopping 44 goals in 40 club appearances across all competitions across both clubs, RB Salzburg and Borussia Dortmund. The new season ushered in more spectacular magic from Erling Holland. In Dortmund's first match of the 2020 and 21 season, Holland scored two goals in a 3-0 win over Borussia Mönchengladbach. Dortmund met defeat at the hands of Bayern Munich in the DFL Super Cup on the 30th of September, where Holland scored the equalizer in their 2-3 loss. He scored against Bayern in the league on the 7th of November, but Dortmund lost 2-3 once again. In a 5-2 away victory against Hertha BSC on the 21st of November, four of those goals were scored by Holland in 32 minutes. Holland took home the Bundesliga Player of the Month for a second time in November. Six goals in his first four matches of the 2020 and 21 Champions League group stage showed how much the Terminator was quickly bagging goal scoring feats like child's play. Holland became the fastest player to record 16 Champions League goals with just 12 appearances in the competition. Then, injury woes landed upon Holland. A hamstring injury kept him out of action until after the new year. His return saw him face off against VFL Wolfsburg on the 3rd of January, 2021. Holland got back to his scoring ways on the 9th of January, scoring two goals against RP Leipzig. The match ended in a win for Dortmund and a 3-1 scoreline. On the 6th of March at the Alliance Arena, Holland scored two goals in the first 10 minutes, with his second goal becoming the 100th goal of his senior career. Holland made this feat in just 146 appearances. Dortmund eventually lost to Bayern 4-2, Holland became the fastest and youngest player in Champions League history to score 20 goals in the competition, but that's not all. He also became the first player to score multiple times in four consecutive Champions League appearances, all after he scored twice against Sevilla to qualify Dortmund to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Holland won his first title with the club when he scored twice in Dortmund's 4-1 win over RB Leipzig in the 2021 DFD Pokal Final. His season ended with 41 goals across all competitions, with 27 of those goals scored in the league. Holland won the fan-voted Bundesliga Player of the Season award and was the Champions League top scorer with 10 goals in which he won an award for the competition's best forward of the season. With goals encoded in his DNA, it was no surprise Holland started off the 2021 and 22 season with a bang. He scored a hat trick over Wayne Wiesbaden in the first round of the DFB Pokal, and a week later scored two goals and provided two assists as Dortmund beat Eintracht Frankfurt 5-2. More injury woes befall the Terminator as Holland got sidelined with a hamstring injury during the early months of the season. Holland missed three matches before returning on the 16th of October and marked his return with a brace against Mainz and a 3-1 win. His return did not last as Holland suffered yet another injury, this time a hip flexor injury, which kept him benched for two months. Holland scored his 50th Bundesliga goal in a 3-1 win over VFL Wolfsburg upon his return from injury. Holland now holds the record for the fewest appearances and youngest player to score 50 league goals. Holland has shown how much of a football goal scoring machine he is. For several months now, top clubs like Real Madrid, Manchester City, and Chelsea have all been rumored to be in the running for the Terminator signature. Holland has expressed moving to Real Madrid in the past, with a hint to move to Manchester City as well with rumors that his father is a big Manchester City fan. Chelsea's Thomas Tuchel has hinted in the press a couple of times that he is keeping an eye on early Colin and that signing him is not a matter of money. The truth is, whichever club Holland lands in, we can be rest assured of numerous goals to come from those magic scoring boots of his.